Hey guys, this is Magic Fan, and we're on the test server Sunday, September 24th. Um, we got some real cool stuff here to look at. The first thing I want to talk to you about is the Dagon robot. Um, Dagon, Dagon. It's got six light slots and six. <laughs> it's a good amount of damage. The first thing I, you know, thought of when we had the, the seen this bot was six of the uh, six of the splinters on here. Um, the splinter's a new weapon that's coming out um, that you got to keep your eye out for. It's a 500 meter weapon and it shoots like a shotgun it's uh, it's going to do a pretty good amount of damage it's going to do it quick especially on a bot like this with six slots so besides that we have the seeker drone that's coming out and this is this is a different drone altogether this is a defensive drone um, you have quantum radar when the enemy is within 200 meters of you. I'm glad they put that extra 10 meters on there. Uh, counter suppression. When people get inside of your range, they do 50% less damage. Okay. Now, there's a 5 second cooldown on that. And there's a 200 meter radius on that. So that's why this bot is going to be a good is going to be a good brawler because it comes with the shield, the energy shield. And then you have the quantum radar to fight off the links. You have the counter suppression, the counter blind. It applies a blind effect to opponents who shoot at you from the distance of 600 meters or more. So this has got some different things in here on this one. Um, and then the durability. This durability is good for the shield. It's good for the robot. 10% uh, extra. 10% is a good, it's like having an extra module on your bot. Okay. And it's permanent all the time. So the Seeker, being a defensive drone, would do very well on, on a bot that you're playing defensively. If you're covering home and flank, anyone who knows what that is, it's the two closest beacons to you normally. It's the two beacons your team should have. And then you fight for the primary beacon. But, um, yeah, I'm liking the, the way that Seeker looks. And on this bot, because this has the eye, because it's got a built-in shield, it's got, it's an Evil Life robot. I love the Evil, evil Life line. It's, uh, it's always got something cool in there with Evil Life. Yeah, it's got a special energy shield that's impenetrable. It's 10 second duration on that. And uh, the cooldown is 10, 10 seconds on that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the bot. Okay, and that's one of the weapons. Now what I did was I fitted out with three different types, or four different types of weapons. The Tamer. Teamer is a 600 meter weapon. Um, it's just a rapid firing energy shotgun and it inflicts rust effect. Um, so we'll see which one we like the most. So we got the Tamers on this. I even put shredders on one. I wanted to put uh, the. I uh, wanted to put the needles on, but um, I don't have enough needles. Even in the test server. Um, also, wanted to try on the uh, spears. 
six spears on this thing with the Otto Schreyer pilot. Now, I'm not sure who the pilot is for this yet. Um, well, this is the Uchi Kuchi bot, but I'm not sure who the pilot is for this. I'm going to do a little research and find out and mention it. But uh, you could use the Otto Schreyer pilot on this with six spears. If you're a spear guy, you know they still work. And that's going to be a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So you're going to have a lot of options. You can mix your weapons up. Three for close range. Three for long range. It's up to you. Six geckos, I imagine, will do quite a bit of damage. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's bring back the geckos. All right. So, like I said, it's got six arms. And uh, we have something else coming out new. I don't know when it'll be here, but we're going to have kill assists. So don't get too excited until you hear whether it's your kill or it's the other guy's kill and you just assisted. Um, but that is going to be coming out. It's already in the test server. And it's about time they change something in the game. We also have a new turret that's coming out for the mothership. It's going to be a lockdown blast cannon. So, can't move, can't escape it. I guess phase shift would be your only option. Um, so, I hope you have phase shift on your Titan because that lockdown blast cannon, you can use a couple of them. I can imagine with some of these, it's going to, it's going to be nasty. Uh, we have the talked about the seeker drone and we also have for guys who used to love the Avengers you know you I know I did and the Punisher tease you had uh, you had a, a short amount of time probably about a year that those weapons were the best thing in the game um, you could rip shields down no problem physical shields no problem um, they were great weapons and they got a huge nerf but uh, now they're coming out with the new ultimate edition Avenger and Punisher tees so that's a good thing you guys love them I know I did like I said um, that's about that's about all one thing about this bot is when you get in a battle you're gonna see people backing away from you. Oh, my favorite map. Okay, let's go. Six hundred. These are great robots. You get the glide instead of worrying about the hills. It's a way better feature. Gotta get over here before this guy does.
seconds. That was now 10 seconds. Yeah. test server for Sunday September 24th I hope you guys uh, got what you wanted out of this I know personally I want to know the new stuff that's coming out and I'm going to try to bring that to you um, in a direct way the quickest and easiest way I can um, the uh, like I said this uh, they got bot will be a bot it will be a fun bot to use if, especially if you already have an ochi ochi kochi if you've already got one this is going to be a fun bot to use um it's going to have a lot of firepower six spots that's the first time pixonic's done going over four so uh, i guess this is a is a prelude to what's to come. All right. So this is Magic Man signing off. You guys have a great rest of the weekend. And I'll see you next week. Um, have a great one, guys. Thanks for watching.